teenager, I was looking for a way to get all the higher notes on the strings after the fretboard ran out. So yeah, nobody invented a whammy pedal yet. So I came up with this thing where I went into uh, my mom's sewing box and I, I got a thimble, a little metal cap you use for sewing right there. And I keep it on my smallest finger of my picking hand and I tap with it on the strings once you get higher than the fretboard. Like that. So the whole concept I had using the thimble is that just because the neck runs out, it doesn't mean that the notes do. And I needed a way, the same way the string hits against the metal fret, I was looking for something metal to hit against the string. And that's how I came up with the whole thimble thing. So that's how you use it. Just tap it the way you would tap anything else. point gives you an octave higher than the original note down here. So, let's say you're, hit, you're hitting a G note right over here. The length of the string from where it's resonating over that third fret to the bridge, if you cut it in half that length, the exact halfway point would be the 15th fret, 12 frets higher. That's where your higher octave is. So, that means that let's say you're on the let's say you're on the 15th fret. The string is vibrating from that 15th fret to the bridge. If you cut the length of the string in half, now we don't have a fret to go by, but if you just visualize it, that is the point that you'll find your higher octave. So that's where you would hit this down. That's how you find all the notes that you're looking for once you pass the fretboard. Just visualize everything on the fretboard and cut it in half. All right, let's say you want to hit a really high B note. Picture the 19th fret, right there. See the distance from here to here. Cut it in half. And that spot is where you would hit the thimble down to get it. And that's how you do it. And after a while, the more you do it, the better you get at it. You just develop that intonation, you get good at visualizing where everything is. 